Hey guys, this is Tennessee Bass Fisherman here today, and I'm going to give you a jerkbait 101 on everything you need to know to catch bass on a jerkbait. Jerkbait fishing is primarily a cold water technique, about 55 to 60 degrees and under. Um, these lures are made to imitate dying shad that are struggling to survive, uh, jumping through the water, and the bass in the winter, and the water's cold, bass's metabolisms are slowed down, so they're trying to find a big, easy meal that they don't have to go chase after really fast or run after real quick um, to get. The two different types of jerk baits are floating and suspending. Floating jerk baits are better when the water is up, 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 like that, right at that 55 to 60 degree water, right before they quit biting a jerk bait. Because the floating, it the, means the bass will be more active and they'll be more willing to chase. Uh, but the suspending jerk baits, which suspending means go down in the water and just sit at a certain level. The suspending jerk baits will be better during the colder winter months when the water's down in the 40s, the 30s. Um, I've seen water temperatures get down in the 20s, but the water has to be moving or it'll be completely froze over. Um, but suspending for colder water, floating for more warm water. The action when fishing a jerk bait, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cast your bait out there as far as you can or as close to the target that you're aiming for. The next thing you're going to want to do is crank the jerk bait down to the level that you think those fish are at. So you're going to turn the handle a couple times. And then you're just going to let it sit there for a second. Because the whole point of a jerk bait is to imitate a dying shad. And a dying shad is going to be jerking and he's just going to be sitting there trying to struggle to swim, and then he's going to take off again. A strong swimming shad is just going to be, he's going to be going everywhere and moving. But that's not what we're trying to imitate. We're trying to imitate dying shad, okay? So we're going to cast our bait out there. We're going to crank it down a couple times, okay? We're going to twitch, twitch, twa. Just a simple cadence is a cast, twitch, twitch, pause, okay? Now a pause on our jerk bait is key, okay? And the pauses vary according to your different water temperatures. A good rule of thumb is the colder the water, the longer the pause. Because the fish are slower metabolism, they're slower to eat your bait, and it's going to take them longer to inhale this thing or come decide whether they want it or not, whether it's worth the energy they're going to expel to go get it. Another thing is you don't want to have the same cadence until you figure out what type of cadence the fish want. Like, until I catch my first couple fish, I'm going to be going... One twitch, pause. If I get bit there, that's a hint. The fish want it with one twitch. Uh, I'll be doing one twitch, pause. Two twitch, pause. One, pause. Two, pause. One, two, three, pause. See, what I'm saying is I'll mix up your cadence until you figure out which cadence the fish want. Because the fi that's one thing bass fishermen, good bass fishermen, know is the fish tell you what they want. Um, you don't, you can't go out on a tournament and have a set idea of what the day is going to go like and what they're going to buy because every day in bass fishing is different. I mean, I mean, I can attest to this because I've gone out one day and had 15 pounds on a lake and then went out the next day and couldn't get five pounds it, on the same lure in the same spots and stuff. It's just different every single day on the water. But once we've got, okay. Let's get to where we've gotten the bite, okay? We cast out there, we'll twitch, 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 pause. Okay, and a jerk bait bite is different from some, okay? They're not just gonna thump it and vibrate your whole rod. They're not just gonna start, uh, you're not gonna feel like a tick, tick like you would with a flipping bite or anything. A jerk bait bite is normally when the bass bite is when that pause, when you twitch, twitch, pause, and there's a little bit of slack in your line. So when you go to twitch that next time, you're just going to feel extra weight on it, okay? And here's the next key. When you feel that extra weight in that twitch, don't jerk back and hammer home, and don't just don't just slowly reel, okay? You're going to want to slowly tighten up your line, but at the same time, sweep out to the side, 
okay? And this is gonna increase your hookup ratio with these bass because these treble hooks and getting more of these treble hooks in the bass's mouth because if it attacks from the side here and you pull and sweep to the side, it's gonna raise these hooks up and it's just gonna catch right in that mouth and hopefully you're gonna get more than one treble. But if you jerk straight up, it may just pull that bait straight out of that bass's mouth or it may pull it straight up and spook the fish or straight down if that bill moves wrong, okay? That's, and you're just gonna keep pressure on those fish all the way in. Don't give them any slack to where they can use the bait to uh, throw throw you and you lose that fish because that's one of the most disappointing things ever is to lose a, lose a fish. Um, but keep constantly keep pressure on them. Keep a tight line. Anytime they jump, you want to try to compensate for that slack. So pull your rod back a little further or reel real fast to try to catch up with them because that's bass are one of the smartest fish out of any freshwater or saltwater fish that I've ever caught um, just because they know how to use their leverage and timing to uh, get a hung because that bass, is he doesn't know you're going to release him. Jerk baits come in a large variety of different shapes and sizes from the three and a half to the three inch baits to the four to the five to even the big six inch jerk baits. They all work at best at different times of the year. The larger ones seem to work better in the fall when the shad have had time to become larger and bigger forage size, um, and more in the spawn when the shad when the shad spawn when the shad are very small, like these three and a half inch to three inch baits. All for, also, the small jerk baits work better when the bass are finicky, and the large ones are better when the bass are very active and you're trying to catch big fish and not just fill a limit. Jerk baits also come in a wide variety of colors, but the main point is each and every color is trying to imitate some type of bait fish. Specifically shad is mostly what I have, just because that's the main forage in most of the lakes I fish. I do have two perch style uh, jerk baits, mainly for um, Chickamauga Lake, which does have some perch in it. But mainly I'm gonna stick with most shad pattern jerk baits because a jerk bait is mainly trying to imitate a dying shad that's struggling to swim and survive. We're going to talk about tackle. Uh, let's start off with line. Line, as you can see here, I believe in Seaguar fluorocarbon. Um, these are both 8 and 10 pound fluorocarbon. 10 is the absolute max I will ever throw a jerk bait on. And the only time I'm going to use 10 pound fluorocarbon is when I'm throwing it around brush or trees or laydowns, and that uh, fish may run straight into that cover. Um, I'm gonna normally stick more with eight or six pound fluorocarbon when I'm fishing these out in open water, on rocks, or anything like that because of its low visibility, no stretch, and abrasion resistance. Next, we're gonna talk about the rods. Jerk baits you can throw on spinning gear or bait casting gear. Um, it's really your personal preference. Those of you that don't know how to use bait casters, you can throw a jerk bait on a spinning rod. And I do that quite often just because of the light line that I'm going to be using and how light jerk baits are. Normally I can make a more accurate cast and it's a little bit easier to cast a jerk bait on a spinning rod for me than it is a bait caster unless it's one of my bigger jerk baits. Um, the shorter you are, the shorter the rod you need when you're fishing a jerk bait, okay? Because, see, I'm 5'8", okay? I'm gonna use the shortest rod possible. My bait casting rod that I have, I think is six foot even. And I just kinda mod, that's just a, you know, a custom rod that I have, that I found. Uh, but the shorter you are, the shorter rod you're gonna need to fish a jerk bait. Because when you're fishing a jerk bait, you're twitching the rod down toward the water. And you don't wanna be, we'll talk more about the action and, uh, how you're going to work it later, but you're twitching the rod down towards the water, okay? And you don't want to constantly be smacking the water with the tip of the rod. So remember, the shorter you are, the shorter rod you're going to need. The taller you are, the bigger you can get away with. I use a six foot six spinning rod in a medium action. You want that medium action to medium heavy action, so when you lean into those fish, you're not going to tear those treble hooks that all these jerk baits have straight out of the fish's mouth. Um, you need that fluorocarbon, six foot six rod. Uh, you want a reel, 
that is either a 6 to 4 to 1 gear ratio or a 7 to 1 to 1 gear ratio because all you do all the reel does when you're jerk bait fishing is take up slack the rest of the action is done with your wrist and the rod the only thing the reel does is reel in your fish catch up to your fish when they knock slack in your line and in between twitches to take up slack that's the only thing that the reel is used for well guys that's pretty much it for jerk bait fishing uh, just remember all these tips that I told you and you'll probably be able to go out and catch some fish on some jerk baits sometime soon. Uh, if you do catch some, be sure and post it in the comments. Let me know that this video helped you and that you learned a little bit from it, okay? Uh, give some suggestions for the next video that we might want to do. Uh, this has been Tennessee Bass Fishing and I'll see you on the water.